love the aroma. It smells so yum. Yum. It smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. I like it lemony. Oh, I mean, if you like lemony things like I do, you can't not have the lemon zest. I'm not good with measuring. I just go like that. Chop Days is Rad Plant Living. Today we're doing another cook-off video for you. My name is EJ and this is Amy somewhere here. Today's assignment for our cook-off is a pesto or a condiment of some kind that you could put with like salad or anything really. So I've chosen a traditional pesto. I love pesto so much and there are lots of variations of what you can do as well and they're so easy to make in a food processor or a blender. So um, actually, to be honest, I've never made it in a blender before, so I'm not sure how that would go, but anyway. So now we're going to do the roast pumpkin and garlic hummus. I've just chopped pumpkin. I like to leave the skin on because it's good nutrients under, just under the skin. If we take that off, denaturing the food, and I just like to eat my food, everything, if you can, obviously. I like to reserve the seeds too of the pumpkin. You can grow them or you can also roast them, pumpkin seeds, they're delicious. So there's my garlic, I'll squeeze it out. So I've roasted this with caraway seeds. I actually roast the pumpkin first and then add the caraway seeds just for a few minutes and some cumin and there's garlic there. I've got some lemon zest, I'll just get a veggie peeler. Chickpeas that I'd cooked, so that in, that in, garlic. Traditionally, hummus has got um, tahini in it. This time, I am putting macadamia nut butter just because it's a bit more of a, like a Moroccan name. I guess tahini is Moroccan too, but I actually sort of stumbled across putting macadamia butter in my hummus because I was actually out of tahini the other day. And it was really delicious, so get all those yummy sweet bits in. So chickpeas, lemon, rind, roast garlic, macadamia butter, salt, already added pepper, lemon. You can see where I've just shaved a piece of the rind off. It just makes it really lemony. If you love it lemony, it's nothing like putting a bit of zest. I like it lemony. Good with measuring. I just go like that. <laughs> so here are my ingredients. I have the beautiful basil, because I'm doing the traditional basil pesto, some pink salt, pine nuts. I'm going to toast those in a second, and the juice and zest of one lemon, three to five garlic cloves. I'm a garlic lover. I've only done three though, because these are very big cloves. Some olive oil. I'm going to start by toasting my pine nuts. First of all, I'm going to weigh. And so with the Thermomix, they've got scales in them, so you can weigh. And the recipe calls for 100 grams. 100 grams. Which was almost all of that jar. I'm going to pour them into the dry frying pan now. This should only take a few minutes, but you've got to be careful because they burn really easily. I can see that they've started to change colour and they're going to move very quickly now so I'm just turning the heat down a little bit and just watching them carefully except I'm not watching them carefully because I'm looking at the camera so. Whoa, they are changing colour now So they're a beautiful colour now um, Some of them are a bit too dark so it's very much a balancing act you've just got to really catch them before they get too dark but anyway, it's okay Yeah, you're supposed to stop it when they're golden not when they're dark brown Whoops <laughs> All right, we're going to add the garlic. So I just got to peel the garlic. Add the um, basil. Two large handfuls. It's got to be um, fresh basil, okay, because fresh is best. Oh, the aroma smells so yum. I love basil so much. It's like probably my favorite herb. I also love coriander. I'm just guessing this. I reckon like pretty much 
the whole thing. You can't have too much basil, I reckon. I love the flavour, I love it with tomatoes, I love it everywhere, anywhere. So we don't need to have the stems in there, so that's why I'm just sort of picking the leaves off. Okay, you can make this on Sunday and keep it in the fridge and just have it with you on sandwiches, in salads, butter bowls, anything really throughout the week. So pretty much decimated that. This is what it looks like. Nice and green. So I'm going to mill this now for 10 seconds on speed 10. Nice. Look at that. Oh, Love it. I'm going to scrape the sides down with my spatula. Oh, it smells so good. Now the next step has a special name and I can't remember it. A special term in cookery. I feel like it's emulsify. I don't know if that's right or not. frightened the dog. I frightened the dog. <laughs> so the Thermomix lid has a little hole in it for these kinds of tasks in cookery. And actually I'll show you. So the lid has like a lip around the edge so you can pour oil in and this lid doesn't seal so it can sort of bounce slightly. And also you've got that hole there, which lets steam out, I guess. Also, it allows oil to get in, sort of dribble through. We're gonna do 60 grams of oil. And we're gonna have the blades going at speed four. I'm gonna add the pine nuts. A little bit overdone. I know I'll love it anyway. So, you can do lemon zest in the Thermomix. All you do is you like peel the skin, leaving as much of the pith on as possible, and then you like sort of grate it, I suppose, in there. But everything's gotta be super dry, and you need to really do it first. And I didn't do that, so instead I'm just doing it the old fashioned way with my fine grater, which is fine by me. Juice of one lemon. Juice half a lemon. Juice of one lemon. Oh, it's, it's burning everywhere. Oh, it smells so good. So yum. My salt. Just gonna give it a bit of a mix. Here it is. I feel like I put too much oil in, but it's fine. It smells great. And I feel like even more basil would have been good. Here it is. Here it is. Mmm, it's really, oh, I forgot the zest. I forgot the lemon zest. I'm gonna have the lemon zest. Oh, I mean, if you like lemony things like I do, you can't not have the lemon zest. So let me just like mix that a bit. I mean, it doesn't look any different with the lemon zest in, but. Mmm, better. It's super zesty. Super lemony. This has got the tang. If you like the tang, you'll like this recipe. But yeah, like I said, maybe not quite as much oil. And I didn't weigh it properly. I was too busy fluffing around. And maybe a bit more basil. Mm, but good. Yum. I wonder what Amy made. Decide uh, texture. I sometimes I want it smooth, depends what you're using it for. Sometimes I like a little bit of texture in it. It does have the skin on it. Um, feel free to take it off, but it's totally edible and it's good for you. So, so I've got a few whole chickpeas in there still. I'll just give it a bit of a mix. Yum! It smells so good. Do not put your spoon in your Vitamix blender because you can forget it's there or not see it and then it's breaks the blades. Very, very bad. A little drizzle of olive oil. These cute little marigolds I picked from the garden. They look just a nice garnish. <laughs> so 
if you like this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up make sure that you subscribe to our channel and make sure that you eat the rad plants and live the rad life and we'll see you in our next video